We're talking about 3D printed pizza. Yo, cool dogs and wild cats. What's going on? Dave Wobble here. So, would you guys like a 3D printed pizza? Well, how about a 3D printed pizza in space? That'd be cool. Right? Now I know you guys are all going, what? That's crazy, that's insane. There's no way you can get pizza in space because the pepperonis will just float right off. Now before I get into the details of this whole story, I want to know from all you guys out there in the real world, what do you think is better, shawarma or pizza? Heck, you know what, screw it. Just put your favorite food down there in the comments below. Like just imagine society was about to be wiped out by 7,000 nukes and you had one last food to have, what's gonna be, what's gonna be? I meant to say what is it going to be, but you get the point, put it down there. So yeah guys, we're talking about a 3D printer that was funded by NASA. But here's the deal, it's not giving you paper, it's giving you pizza. So it pours all of its ingredients out on a hot plate and it cooks while it, well, craps it out. As for the ingredients, they come in these really cool cartridges and they have like a shelf life of 30 years old. Yo, so is that refrigerated or non-refrigerated for that 30 years, let's be real. Guys, I'm not even sure in a vacuum I would trust pizza sauce or cheese for 30 years. Like here's the real question, how do they know it has a shelf life for 30 years? Have they tested these cartridges? for 30 years or is NASA just blowing smoke right up our now let's be real, the food that they have right now, well this actually has over 300% of a shelf life. Oh, so here's an idea, so here's what we do. We can put that stuff on Mars. We just fire like rockets filled with this stuff and man, we get pizza by the time we land. And man, if pizza was my only diet as an astronaut, I'm so going to Mars. I don't care if it's a one way ticket. I'm just quitting being a YouTuber, I'm sorry. As for the 3D printer, it was designed by a medical engineer named Anjan Contractor who works for a company called Behic. But don't worry guys, I know you're all excited, a consumer version is coming quite possibly soon. Anyways guys, I'm out of here. Keep it real, keep it classy, keep it on the flip side out there in the real world. Okay? Bye.